What's going on guys? I'm Ralph Cooper. I'm a broker here in Chicago. Just recently joined Baird and Warner uh, in the Gold Coast and, and just wanted to kind of create a vlog and just document my journey as a real estate professional. Um, entering this field over a year ago, I initially was a leasing agent throughout the city and had some pretty good success doing that and got my license in September and decided to switch over to a bigger brokerage that allows me a little bit more resources to uh, expand my uh, career, it's like I said. Um, so today I'm hosting my first open house. I'm here now, it's a condo in Chicago. Um, super exciting, but super nervous at the same time, which is an emotion I think a lot of us go through and it's mainly just fear of the unknown, to be honest. It's something new for me, uh, for any new agents out there, I know what you're going through. So the goal of this vlog is just to kind of give you guys um, a sense of mind that you're not the only one going through this and that it's a marathon, it's definitely not a sprint. So my first open house so far, I've been here about an hour, had some, some light traffic, honestly, not a lot of traffic, but um, the traffic I have had, I've done my best to build rapport with them, making sure I get their information to follow up, which is going to be key in our business. And just one of the main things to remember now, new agents out there, is that you're an entrepreneur. Um, you're not clocking in for a nine to five. You're not going to have tasks already written out from you for you. It's up to you to to take advantage of all of the resources out there, um, including myself. If you guys out there watching this have any questions for me on the exam, uh, entering the field. If you're thinking about it, feel free to reach out, follow up with me. Um, I'm, I'm always open to that. So a few quick tips for you guys already. One of the things that I find helpful is just getting to the property at least 45 minutes ahead of time or even an hour for some people. If you're like myself, I love to be on time. I hate being late. As most agents, you should always pride yourself in being on time because it means a lot to the people you're working with that you're there on time. They don't have to wait. They don't have to call around for you. You're there prepared and ready. As I say, you always want to get to the property early. I've got here, made sure all the lights are on, walked around the property, checked it out, checked out some of the pros and cons of the property. And like I said, you want to be honest with these buyers. Uh, if you see something that a buyer might be concerned about, if you're concerned about it, the buyer's probably going to be concerned about it. Point it out and let them know. Just say, hey, yeah, so here's this, but this also offers X, Y, and Z. So just always be prepared to answer those questions. Uh, any cool amenities about the property. One thing about this one, the ceiling fan is controlled by a remote control, which is pretty cool, I think. Just a plus. Uh, talk about the kitchen. Most people love kitchens, um, stainless steel appliances, things of that nature. Uh, have some brochures ready about the property, just giving information on them. And uh, sign-in sheet. I always want to have your sign-in sheet. So far, I've got a few names on there. Um, not a ton, but enough. Uh, more than I had when I came in. And that's the mindset we all should have. Don't get down on yourself. Stay, keep, keep, keep your head up. Just make sure you're, you're confident. Oh, turn the light off instead of on. But yeah, just stay confident. I'm at this property now. Um, I'm gonna do some things at the end of this video on what I think I could have done better, how I look to improve next time, of course. But my first open house. It's my first open house. I have another tomorrow. I'm super excited, guys. Um, keep your heads up. We're, it, it's enough opportunity out there for all of us. That's, that's the only way. Oh, also, also, a plus. Make sure if you're a coffee drinker, have your coffee because you're going to need it. You need that energy. You need to be pumped up. Just, just be ready. Have that energy. Um, be a great agent. You guys all can do it. If I can do it. You can do it. My first week on the job. I'm super excited, guys. First open house. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right, guys, just wrapped up my first open house. Uh, super excited. Uh, not a lot of traffic in this one, but that's okay. I got another tomorrow, but the things that I did take away from this one is just kind of doing a little bit more education for myself, uh, things that can help uh, the buyers and just bringing some value. That's one thing as agents that we always want to do is bring value to a situation. So like I said, I had a few people come. Some were new buyers already been pre-approved, which is great for, they know the amount they're pre-approved for. So. My goal now is just to continue to follow up with them, continue to build their rapport, and like I said, bring value to them, send them information that might be helpful with their, within the area they're looking to move to, 
um, using the Cromford Report for like just some some market analysis and insights is always a plus. Um, new agents, make sure you check that out. But all in all, not a bad first open house. I'm gonna do another vlog tomorrow for my second open house. Uh, I'm claiming it's gonna be better, gonna get more foot traffic. I'm super excited. I'm super super excited. Um, as always, guys, like I said, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Leave them in the comments if you enjoyed this vlog. Perfect. That's always great. Um, I'm excited. I don't know what else to say. I'm excited. It's my first one. So, guys, it's only going to get better. I, I'm excited for you guys. Excited might be my favorite word today. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm excited for you guys to follow along in this journey with me as I continue to build my career as a real estate professional. I'm excited to see where this is going. I know it's gonna climb new heights. I'm not even questioning it. But for those of you out there that still have some second thoughts and are still worried about it, don't stress. The main thing is consistency. Just be consistent, continue to be consistent. And that's one of the goals that I'm gonna uh, have for myself. I'm gonna make sure that you guys hold me accountable watching this video. I'm gonna keep my consistency up. People are walking by as I film, which is pretty awkward. I don't care. I'm gonna be consistent with these videos though, for sure. Guys, have a good one. Looking forward to hearing from you all. Um, looking forward to tomorrow as well. Peace.